You gotta dig Triple D in Northern California, especially when I'm just three blocks from AT&T Park where the San Francisco Giants play. Now, I cruise through this area quite a bit, and this funky little joint didn't come up on my radar. It's a coffee shop. The coffee shop's what you call a diner on the West Coast. But not just any coffee shop. It's one that's spiked with Asian fusion. This is HRD Coffee Shop. All right, there you go. I'm Chinese. You're Chinese. Jojo's Korean. Hey, how are you? That'd be Jojo Banks. Put on the most spicy sauce. Who partnered up with her pal, David Young. How long's the line? When he decided to buy his uncle's coffee shop. We want to make a menu that kind of combine all flavors that we like to eat. What do people say when they walk in and then find kimchi fried rice burrito? They just scratch their hands like you do. <laughs> <laughs> spicy pork kimchi burrito? Oh, yeah. They also order it. Korean barbecue and a burrito. Two best foods smashed together. Then you put kimchi on anything. It's just awesome. Kimchi into a burrito. Yes. First thing we do is we take Napa cabbage. Cut it in quarters? Cut it in quarters. After this, Korean sea salt. So this will pull all the moisture out. How long is this going to sit with the salt on it? Overnight. We rinse it and then make a sauce for it. Give it to me. A sweet rice flour. Sweet rice powder. We're going to put a little water in there. Now we mix it up. This is just kind of the binding agent? Binding agent. Red crushed pepper. All of that? All of that, OK. Korean anchovies, anchovy sauce. We got some sugar. Get the nice paste in there. Leeks? Yep. Julian leeks. Sliced daikon. And then we got some uh, carrots. Some other flavors coming up? Yeah. How pungent it is? This seriously is some of the stuff I love more than anything. Rub everything inside really, really well. Put this in here. Let it ferment. And how long does kimchi ferment? A day. All right. What are we going to make? Korean spicy pork sauce. Chopped onions. Chopped ginger. Garlic. Put a little water in there. Kiwi. That little bit of kiwi makes a difference? Yes. Put in this much garlic <laughs> and this much ginger. This much kiwi. And then we're going to blend it. We're going to break it all the way down. Really? Yeah. And then we're going to put all this stuff in there. Sugar, soy sauce, Korean bean paste. I got to try this. That's awesome. <laughs> a little sweet, spicy miso. Like Korean peanut butter. <laughs> Korean red pepper flakes. Is that hot? It's very hot. OK. OK. <laughs> and then we'll mix it again. This is what the pork gets marinated in. Exactly. That is awesome. Now what do we do? We're going to take the pork butt. The regular old pork butt. Slice it thin. Now we take our sliced pork. Got it. And get that marinated. It's going to soak up the marinade, uh -huh. which the marinade is the bomb. But how long will it marinate? For at least a day. Fire it up. So we got the spicy pork. Let's see a little bit. A little caramelization on the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put a little sesame oil on there. Got it. Kimchi we go. Chopped it up. We mix it all in there. All the flavors coming out. So good. Jasmine rice. This is the sauce we made to flavor the rice. A lot of work for a burrito, bro. Exactly. And then scallions. Give it some nice color. Take the tortilla shell. Get that nice and heated up. The whole mixture right there. Look at that. Mung beans. Love them. Jelly and cucumbers. A little bit of hot sauce. Sour cream. This I don't get. And then a little bit of nori. This is the oddest burrito I've ever seen. We roll that up right there. Parchment paper. I'll eat right through the parchment paper. <laughs> and then we wrap it in foil to keep it nice and hot. Look at that. Mm. Brother. That's out of bounds. The kimchi, a little bit sour, a little bit spicy. The meat's got tons of flavor, a little chew. And the mung bean, mm, dude, that is seriously the bomb. Nice job. Rocked it out.